Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this how to play video, I'm going to take a look at Death Rattle Hunter, or Secret Mech Hunter, or Mech Hunter, however you prefer to call the deck. Regardless, it's a hunter archetype that is built around 9 lives. Discover a friendly Death Rattle minion that died this game, also trigger its Death Rattle. So it's a little bit of a slower hunter deck, it's based on having tons of value because 9 lives, together with mechanical whelp, means that you can generate quite a few 7-7s, seven and this deck also makes use of the buffed up necro mechanic. Now that it's a 4 mana 3-6, your death rattles trigger twice, and this also applies to 9 lives. So you can play necro mechanic, and you can play 9 lives, and if you discover mechanical whelp from that, then you get 1 mechanical whelp to your hand, and you get 2 7-7s seven seven on the board. And the Necro mechanic combos with this can get really crazy if you magnetize stuff. Because if you magnetize some stuff together and then you trigger the Death Rattle either by getting a minion killed or with a fireworks deck, then those Death Rattles will all trigger simultaneously and they will all trigger twice. So this deck just packs a ton of value. There are four different Death Rattle minions in the deck. There is Snip Snap, Spider Bomb, Ursatron, and then there is the mechanical whelp. So when you discover stuff with nine lives, you're going to get to choose from three, which means that if you have not used one of those, then you're guaranteed to get all the others as options. One of the things I like to do, for example, is not to use snip snap too early, so that I will have all the others as options, and then I can do snip snapping later. And all that nine lives value is even enhanced by Zul'jin. Cast all spells, you played this game, so if you have played some nine lives, then Zul'jin is going to play some nine lives. And Zul'jin also synergizes with the early game plan of the deck. The later game plan of the deck is just to overwhelm your opponent with all these mechs. The early game plan of the deck is to survive, and in order to survive, well, there's a couple of secret keepers, and then there is a small secret package in the deck. And you can play Secret Keeper, you can start playing these secrets, they get you somehow through. You have an Animal Companion, you have Ursatron for 3 drops, you have Unleashed the Hounds to have something against tokens, you have a couple of deadly shots in this build. The main difference between my build and most of the other decks of this archetype that you can see right now is that I'm running double deadly shot in this. I really want the hard removal in the current meta, but I don't think Spider Bomb is enough even with 9 lives has the easier because they also have the Venomizers, but this Death Rattle Hunter doesn't have that, so I really like Deadly Shot. And Deadly Shot is also sweet because it also comes out of Zul'jin, and so does Unleash the Beast. So Zul'jin is an incredible value generator in this deck. Some other key cards, there's Houndmaster Shaw, also a very difficult minion to get rid of, and it gives you other minions rush, so then you can start rushing in your Death Rattles and things just go from there. Subject 9 helps you thin your deck of all the secrets, helps you play those, and Ciliax, an excellent tool, healing tool, can be magnetized. You can, for example, if you have a mechanical whelp on the board, you attack that in, you get the 7-7, seven, seven, you magnetize the Ciliax on that 7-7, seven, seven, and it gains rush, so you can use that immediately. Just a lot of nice things that you can do with this deck. Survival with secrets, with spells, with your early death rattles, then value with the whelps, with Zul'jin, win the game. Overall, that is the game plan of Death Rattle Hunter. Death Rattle Hunter is at its best against Warrior. This is a very, very good deck to beating Warriors. While it's not so good against various aggressive decks, decks like Murloc Shaman, Bomb Hunter, it's unfavored against those. Even those matchups are not hopeless, but they are a little bit rough. Death Rattle Hunter does fairly well against mages because of all the hard removal, so you can really kill some giants with this one. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're always keeping the Secret Keeper, just so a good one drop, solid minion. And beyond that it really depends on what kind of deck you're facing. If you're facing a token deck, you want to hold on to stuff like Explosive Trap, Unleash the Hounds, Ursatron and Animal Companion. Whereas if you're facing something like Mage, that is going to make big minions very quickly, or Mech Paladin, then you want to hold on to Deadly Shot, Spider Bomb, and the Earthstone is still pretty good in those matchups. Or if you're facing something slower where 
you have time to develop your value. Then you're looking for that Ursatron, you're looking for your Subject 9 to thin your deck. And if you have a pretty decent hand, you can always also consider keeping Zul'jin. Zul'jin isn't a terrible keep, even against something like Rogue. If you already have the early game that you want. Although for the most part, you would consider Zul'jin keep against something like Priest or Warrior. If you enjoyed this content, then please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more. And now, let's go take a look at Detrattle Hunter in action. I think I'll probably try with this hand. Let's see what happens. Oh, that that's a short name. I know what you did. Let's go in with the secret keeper and see what happens next. Hunter with a weak draw, maybe. I mean, I like that. I think I have to play the Saturn right. I believe I need the tempo. A little bit sad that I didn't have a secret now to play with the secret keeper. But I, I felt like hero power there was just too weak. I need I needed something more. So I have the option to fireworks deck this. This is actually a mid-range hunter. I think Spider Bomb is the correct answer here though. Kill the Mish, I mean, he's probably going to kill off the Ursatron. One way or another here. But at least I will get to draw a mech, so it's not all bad. Okay, then something like a Spring Paw coming in right here. Shimmerfly? That's intriguing. Yes, now I'm offered the chance to fireworks stick this one. Or snip snap it. It's going to get a lot of more stuff going on in the near future, of course. I'm offered the chance to play Houndmaster Shaw. So many interesting things that I could do. I think fireworks deck is correct. Let's use this. It will kill the Shimmer Fly. And it will draw a mech. And it will apply a lot of pressure. He probably has a fairly easy way to kill these now, because he has of course stuff like sp Spring Paw and Timber Wolf. If he had a Spring Paw though, he would have played it last turn. How oh, random Unleash the Hounds, the best kind of Unleash the Hounds. It's going to come together with Ace Timber Wolf, yes. I expected that. And I whiffed a little on that one. Oh boy, oh boy. I think this is Shaw. I was considering Necromechanic, but I think Shaw is better. Necromechanic can come later with the nine lives. Because getting rid of Shaw is not necessarily easy. He needs to have a deadly shot. He has a deadly shot. Are we going to unleash the beast contest here? Possibly. What good options do I have? Like if I do Ursa Turn Spider Bomb. That's not so great. Playing the mechanical well out there. It isn't that great, right? He runs Unleash the Beast too. His direction isn't helping. It would be nice to get some mechs out there. I think I'll go with the Whelp. He will have to kill the Whelp. He can't just leave it up. He and he just used the Deadly Shot. So how is he going to kill the 7-7? Seven, seven? If he doesn't kill the Whelp, then I can play Necromechanic. I can even play Necromechanic Spider Bomb and trade off the Whelp for two 7-7s seven, and two Spider Bomb effects. If he just chooses to go face here or something. He has to kill the Whelp. Oh, he's going to get punished so hard for this. So very, very hard. Oh, this is just crazy. This is just a crazy turn. We and pow and behold. 
There goes the Tundra Rhino and there goes the Scavenging Hyena. And I get a pair of 7-7s seven on this board. Magnificent. But it's not over yet. See, I'm starting my Masters this month. Okay. He's on a phase plan. 14. I mean, I have lethal on board. I might try with this hand. See, does your son play Hearthstone as well? Yeah, my son plays and both of my daughters play as well. And well, then there's the baby. But he doesn't play yet. He's too young. He doesn't even know what a computer is. Let's man play Chair Access Lock. Yeah, I, I really like that deck. Too bad it's not really competitive at the moment. It's so, it's so, so dice to burst. I went 4 and 2 with that against Warriors, so that went pretty well, but other than that, not so much. I think I have to just play the Secret Keeper out there. I mean, he's going to get the trade, but I can't afford to not do it. How will they do? Well, they just play for fun. What is Shaman going to do on 2? Is like Snipe useful? He's not going to play a lot of cards, I know that. Maybe I can use a Snipe. Oh, it's Murlocs. Oh boy. That can get scary. That can get really, really scary. So I have the option to coin the Necro mechanic. If he has a Toxfin, he just kills it with that. But that's going to happen later, too. Is he going to play three cards? No way, he's not going to play three cards next turn. But this is scary stuff now. If I coin Necromechanic, I cannot play Spider Bomb Fireworks deck next turn yet. I think I have to take the chance. If he has a Toxfin for the Necromechanic, I think he just wins from there. But if he doesn't have the Toxfin, then this threatens to trade away like an Underbelly Angler if he has one of those. So I felt I needed to do this because the chance that he has an Underbelly Angler is greater than the chance that he has a Dog's Fin. Oh no. He has a damage lucky. Yeah. And he did end up playing three cards this turn. Ouch. Misdirection time, absolutely. Do I want to freeze something from this board now? Misdirection freezing. Misdirection rat. That's a tough call. I go with misdirection rat. Let's try this one out. He's not going to attack with 2-2 two -two Murloc first. Oh no. Oh no. Too much good stuff. Well, at least I end up killing that one. Some consolation. And he has only one card in hand, that's also good. The spider bomb and we killed it off. Ouch. Alright, didn't hit quite what I was hoping to hit. We'll see. It's now a really, really close one. I have some tools to fight back, of course, with the nine lives too. Especially if he hasn't managed to pick up an Urchuk now. And both of these cards are very recent, so I don't have any read that he would have anything out there. But that one is growing. And that is scary. Okay, where do I get it? Get it? One in four. I win the one in four. That's a big deal. But that could still be like a bloodlust, of course. And bloodlust is still scary. 
I need to keep killing stuff from here. But is it spider bomb on the board? Or is it animal companion on the board? I think it's spider bomb here. Let's try this. So bloodlust is currently 15 damage. You need a little bit more than just a bloodlust to win. Now bloodlust would be lethal. That's no bloodlust. Okay, that's a piece of good news. That's a timely unleash. So... Okay, so how, how can I do this? Unleash six hounds. One, two, three... Four, five... Do I play... I don't play Freezing Drop right now. I play Unleash. I start the trading from here. Then I play the Animal Companion. And I managed to roll the Leok. So then I can just use the Unleash to trade everything. Don't use Unleash to trade everything and save the Spider Bomb. Spider Bomb can go down to one health, it's acceptable. I can do it like this. Keep as much of a board as I can. That card has now been there for a while, but it's not Bloodlust because Bloodlust would have been lethal. So it has to be something else. Just going face with this. I can play Freezing Drop now, Hero Power. I think we turned the corner with the Timely Unleash top deck. If I would face a lot of token decks, I'd probably need double unleash in the deck. I currently only have one. Shudderwalk. But there's not much to Shudderwalk, right? Five, seven, nine. There's not much to the Shudderwalk. Can I beat Mech Paladin? I mean, he has Kangors. It's going to be pretty hard. What about Secret Plants instead? That's just so low tempo. I don't like that. But okay. Up against the Paladin. He mulliganed everything, so maybe there is no Galvanizer. There isn't always a Galvanizer. There was no Christology either. I don't think I want to spend the coin yet. Maybe I actually do. Let's coin the companion. See what happens here. Oh. So is this... What is this? Holy Wrath Paladin? That's interesting. Well, if it's Holy Rat, then I don't want him to draw cards. I don't want to let the Acolyte live. Please, Acolyte, die away. Okay, so this looks like a Holy Rat Paladin now. Okay, we're in a new ball game. And that ball game is called. Let's try to hit him in the face. At least I'm not. The oh, it's. It is actually a Mech Paladin anyway. Okay, I really thought it wasn't. My bad. Six cards in hand. Subject 9 will draw 4. Then this one dies and I have... My hand is full. Awkward. So I can't play the Subject 9 yet. No, I cannot. Okay, everything is heavily buffed now. I think I do need to kill that one. Draw a mech. That's a pretty decent mech. I think I'm playing this mech. And I'm playing the Mist Direction. Let's get the secret out there. So in theory I have a chance to play the Subject 9 next turn. 
Why do you want to kill off your Ziliax like this? Now it's just a plain Ziliax in Kangors. I found that very surprising. Six cards in hand. Three secrets in deck. Let's grab those secrets. So he was very... Surprising way to spend at Ziliax, I have to say. But we'll see. Here comes the magnetization. No magnetization. There should be some magnetization going on. Yep, there's some magnetization. He may or may not have rush minions in hand that he can then freeze. I, mean, I could wipe this board, but do I want to? What do I do when the Kangors comes if I wipe this board now? If he has a Skadebot, then he can just freeze that. Not if I snipe it. I will take this trade here. Then I'm playing a snipe. And a freezing trap. And a rat trap. Just try to cover all bases with the Christmas tree. So if he plays a Skaderbot, the Skaderbot dies. But he can of course start with something else so that he can play the Skaderbot later. Now he simply cannot attack with that. But he doesn't have to. So I can now do... Wait, if I do Necromechanic 9 lives... It probably does both, both death rattles before this one, right? It's one more turn before I get to my Zul Jin. And he might have Kangors. Kangors is like what I'm a little bit afraid of here. Well, I still have a freezing trap up. So do I necessarily mind? Maybe I'll just deadly shot here. Get an explosive trap going. Hit him in the face a little bit. We will just do it like this. Do Necromechanic 9 lives next. Contra Warrior with Brightwing. Well, that's interesting. Well, two of these isn't really that much better now, is it? Because I'll just do Necromechanic 9 lives. For the spider bombs. Whoa! Whoa! So. I try with the Zul Jin keep. I'm not sure if I can survive long enough to get to Zul Jin. But we'll try. Necro mechanic is so much fun, by the way. Tremendously fun card. I hadn't played with the buffed Necro mechanic yet until now. And it's pretty sweet. Alright, Rogue kept three cards and he has the coin, so I can expect some nasty things. Coin miscreants, sharks. Well, maybe they don't all play sharks. They shouldn't all play sharks, but shark can still be good depending on whether I find hard removal in time or not. Well, I don't expect him to do anything on one. Am I playing spider bomb on tree? He's going to play coin into the miscreant, right? Yep, that's a good move. I think this is still a Ursatron time. Spider bomb a little bit later. Maybe. Maybe one day we will have that. Who knows? I could magnetize on this to kill the evil miscreant, but I don't want to because rogues have saps. I'm a little bit afraid of sap. I think I'll just trade away the tree tree. Look at what I get from there. He wouldn't just play a shark now, would he? Who knows? I think I'll play the spider bomb here, because then I will have the spider bomb in the nine lives. So 
So if there's a lone shark on the board at some point, I can deal with that. That blink fox miscreant kind of makes me think this is shark rogue. And even though shark is pretty bad, it's still a card that needs to be respected to an extent. Now I get that death rattle into nine lives, which is what I wanted. So I have that available to me. There's even more luckies in hand now. So is it the right time to play Explosive Trap now? Or to simply hero power? Three luckies in hand. I think I'll go with the Explosive Trap. There is a risk though that he just triggers the trap and then plays stuff. But I still have the Unleash too, so that's also available. In two turns I will have Necromechanic 9 lives, so I can hard remove two minions if I want. I'm not even sad about the miscreant only dying here, because I really didn't want him to be bouncing miscreants either. He could be going for a big Edwin turn. Would that be a problem? Maybe. And then the Edwin. That zero six is actually so good here. Because now I can't get rid of that one. Then there's the possibility of sap. So many things can go wrong from here. For me, that is. I have the spider woman, I have the Ursatron. I get two rolls to get kill the Edwin, but that might not be enough. He still has another two lackeys in hand. One lackey. One lackey, two spells. Hmm. Why did it have to be a 0-6? So good. I think I need to unleash here. I need to play another spider bomb, I believe. Just try to keep being somewhat threatening at least. But I wanna get two hits at the Edwin with the Necromechanic 9 lives. But I feel that might not be enough. He can populate the board really well here. I gotta try to save the Unleash for when he populates the board better. But if I did that, then I still can't play it together with the Necromechanic 9 lives. So... That turn was a little bit difficult. I could have tried to play the well, but there's a chance that he has Sap. And he would keep Sap against... He would keep Sap against... Hunter. So I really didn't want him to have the sap there. But this one turned out perfectly now. Because now these will trade here and here. Then I will play the necro mechanic and then I will play the nine lives to get a spider boom and that will clear the board. I was really scared there but in the end things worked out this time. This is clearly a shark build. Because no one else would, in their right mind would run Novice Engineer. Even a shark deck shouldn't run Novice Engineer. Yeah, my era, I, I, I'm planning multiple turns ahead, of course. It's kind of useless to plan just one turn ahead. One one patient assassin. Oh, that's so sweet. I want to start casting spells now because I have the Zul Jin coming up. Let me unleash the beast and hero power this turn. Why not include a single tracking? I don't think this deck wants tracking. This is an archetype that I have never used tracking really. Oh, he's going to go all face here, right? Yep. Does this set up for lethal? I mean, with Leroy it does, right? With Leroy, it's going to set up for lethal. Unless I can snipe the Leroy. I have to try to snipe the Leroy. Because this, to me, this looks like a Leroy lethal setup. He has one extra mana, so he can play, but he doesn't have any lackeys left. 
So I probably can't play a minion and then play Leroy. He could set up a two turn, but then Suljin might mess that up. Scary times. We're so close to dying. I need the Ciliax once again. It's 16 with Wagalpik and the Shadow Step Leroy play. So I need to play the Zul'jin now. Otherwise Leroy will get me. Zul'jin time. Let's go. Unleashing a little... Getting the snipe back here. Possibly. I'm getting the explosive trap too, so... With snipe and explosive trap. Those should be enough to save me from Leroy. And then I try to push. I'm at 19, I have snipe and I have explosive trap. He of course knows I have snipe and explosive trap. But does he have the mana to do anything about it? This was clearly a Leroy lethal setup. I think I have to try with just this here. Yeah, my I've been facing a lot of warriors. Except today. Today I haven't played against a single warrior. But let's see. Snape feels familiar, but I'm not sure if I know him or not. I can't deal with the angler. Feels bad, man. Do I need to hit into the angler, though? What if he has some... Yeah, I think I need to hit into the angler. I was wondering what if he has something with Rush. But with two mana he can't have too many things with Rush. Oh, but he could have a Lucky. Okay, 40%. Nat Pagel. Whoa. I can't kill the Nat. So I still don't know the archetype. If I unleash... Kill these two. Still doesn't do a whole lot. If I deadly shot... No. I mean, my options are pretty much do nothing. Well, do nothing, unleash or deadly shot. That's what they are, but... Even if I deadly shot now, if it doesn't hit that... Then it's pretty useless. I think I need to just hero power. I don't think I can unleash yet. Don't forget, there was one mech paladin, you're right. There was one mech paladin. Oh dear. That's bad. Maybe I should have just played the unleash. I was really uncertain how to proceed that previous turn. I was hoping for Huffer to kill the Nat Pagel. No, Nat Pagel is drawing cards. Yeah, I think I messed this up. Should have went with the more aggressive Unleash. I was just concerned that he fills the board. And then I need something that I can use to react to that. Well, he didn't play any Murlocs. That's an upside at least. We have to go here. Because I do need to kill the Underbelly Angler. So as an upside I can kill all the Murlocs from this board. This is the last Underbelly Angler, but it has to die. I think I also want to kill these two. So I was able to kill all the Murlocs. But there's that Nat Pagel that I can't get rid of. That's so scary stuff. The Rat Trap limits his ability to play multiple cards a little bit. But is it going to be enough? Yeah, it's probably not going to be enough. Need to do Unleash the Beast here. Kill off a Murloc again. 
just try to limit the numbers as much as I can. He's pretty certain at this point that it's a rat trap. But that doesn't help me if I die to some bloodlust in the near future anyway. I still need like Ziliax. There are too many minions. Too many minions here. Just too many minions. Do I just die to a bloodlust? Five, six, plus fifteen, twenty-one. Well, not quite yet. But we're not far. I don't see what my out is. What if I deadly shot this turn? If it hits anything but these two, then I play the necro mechanic. That's still not good enough. What is my out? It's like Ziliax. I think I need to deadly shot and hope it doesn't hit either of those two, and then play the necro mechanic. There's 21 with bloodlust. I'm dead to bloodlust and lightning bolt, or this is also lethal. Yeah. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.